Hello and welcome to the Excellent English Club. Learn to speak English. In this course, we are going to discuss today articulation. Before discussing articulation, I'll give you a very brief definition of phonetics and phonology. Look here. What is phonetics? Phonetics is a branch of linguistics. The study and classification of speech sounds. It has two types. Number one, production. The way humans make sounds. Production. Number two, perception. The way speech is understood. Clear? How we understand speech. This is one thing. And how we produce speech. That is another thing. So first thing is production. Second thing is perception. To understand okay this is phonetics now move to number two what is phonology what is phonology phonology is the branch of linguistics that studies how languages or dialects systematically organize their sounds that is phonology these are two definitions of phonetics and phonology Okay, now move to today's topic. The today's topic is articulators. Two branches of articulators. The production of sound depends on the muscles. You know muscles? Here we have a lot of muscles. Many types of muscles from lips up to the vocal tract. We have many muscles. The production of sound depends on the muscles contraction. Contractions. We have set of muscles that produce sound changes. The air comes from the chest muscles, that is lungs, passes through the vocal tract and goes to the mouth or nose. Or we can say oral cavity and nasal cavity. That produces sounds with the help of other organs of speech. These part of vocal tract are called articulators. Understand? Now move to the category. Articulators are divided into two categories. Number one, active or lower articulators. The active articulators move towards the passive articulators while producing sounds. For example, lips, tongue, lower jaw, this one, complete area, this one, lower one. And the soft palate, which I told you in the previous lecture that what is soft palate. It raised some time, it lowered some time. Okay. These are the active articulators, means they move. For example, our tongue moves like this. Our lower jaw moves up and down here and there. And lips, our lips also move. So the part which moves that is called active articulators and the second one is passive or upper articulators. The passive articulators don't move towards active articulators at the time of speech production. At the time of speech production they do not move. They don't move. For example upper jaws, the upper portion of our mouth. When we talk, when we eat only the lower part moves, the upper part doesn't move, okay? Second thing, upper teeth, they don't move, only the lower teeth move, like this. Then heart palate, this portion, roof of the mouth doesn't move. Then the upper gum, this one, teeth ridge, this portion doesn't move. These are the passive articulators. So we have two types of articulators, active articulators and passive articulators. We can also say upper articulators and lower articulators. Upper means passive, lower means active. Clear? Now move to the manner of articulation. That is also very important. Manner of articulation. Look here. The manner of articulation specifies the kind of closure or narrowing involved in the production of a sound. 
that is very important when you produce any consonant sound there are some narrowing between the active articulator and the passive articulator they are some narrowing sometimes they are very narrow sometimes a little space sometimes they are completely closed so what happened is look here i will show you some diagrams then you will easily understand no consonant sound is fully identified or described without stating the manner of its articulation what is the way and in which place of our mouth we produce sound we have seven types of consonant sound seven types though we have 24 consonant sounds but they are categorized okay we have 24 consonant sound but all the consonant sounds are categorized into seven groups what are these groups look here plosive affricate fricatives nasal lateral semi vowels and rhotic i'll show you a chart then you will understand how they are divided look here look at this chart in this chart you will see that number one this one plosives pa ta ka ba da ga how many sounds six second fricatives fava thada saza shaja and ha how many fricatives nine fricatives then affricates how many affricates two cha and ja cha ja then move to nasal nasal sound how many nasal sounds are there three ma na anga three now move to approximate there are four approximate sound ya ra wa la these are four approximants and these approximants are divided into three groups three further groups what are these L la is lateral and wa and ya they are glide and rhotic one ra ra is rhotic now one by one each and every group I will discuss these are called manner of articulation plosive is one manner fricatives another manner affricate another manner nasal another manner like this see these are manners and there is another thing that is called place of articulation which I will discuss in the next video inshallah okay in this video I will discuss only the manner of articulation right look here number one consonants are formed with obstruction of the airflow by oral or nasal cavities look here first one is plosive as i told you there are six sound of plosive sounds pa ta ka ba da ga you know the sounds they are they have two qualities voice sound and voiceless sound the basic thing is here what is voice sound as i told you in my previous video when i was discussing organs of speech i told you the vocal cords vibrate when we produce voice sound and while producing voiceless sound not vibrate this is the basic difference okay look here plosives in plosives pa ta ka these three sounds are voiceless sounds ba da ga these are voice sounds now look here what i'm going to tell you what is the manner of producing these sounds plosive is or a stop contain a complete stop of airflow in the mouth or oral cavity and sudden release with explosion for example the air coming from the lungs passes through the mouth but before passing through the mouth it is stopped in our mouth like this for example ba then air comes i stop the air in my mouth with the help of my lips ba like this so air is stopped here that is why it is called plosive okay and sudden release that is called plosive pa ba ta in ta we don't use our lips we use our tongue and the alveolar ridge alveolar ridge we stop the air 
at the top with the help of the tongue like this ta da look at the picture in this picture you will see that pa and ba these two sounds pa and ba these two sounds produced with the help of lips look here complete closure of the lips pa ba if you see the lips on this in this picture the lips are completely closed right look another picture in this picture ta da ka ga the tongue lips are not tight together tongue is here and lips are apart so here ta da ka ga we are not using lips we are using our tongue and the air is stopped there with the help of the tongue and sudden release ta da ga like this okay the second one is fricatives the way fricatives are produced look here fricatives fa wa tha da sa za sha ja and ha comprise a partial compression of air coming from the lungs in oral cavity and release through a narrow channel narrow channel and create a buzzing sound buzzing is a sound like this okay like that is why they are called fricative while production of the sound there is a friction in our mouth friction that is why they are called fricatives so what is this look at the picture air release through the narrow channel not completely closed like plosives in plosives it was completely closed but here they are not closed completely but narrowing is there with the help of lips tongue the passage is very narrow so we can say fa wa tha za sa za sha ja not completely closed but narrowing there in the second picture look here tongue is raised up to the hard palate the roof of the mouth and constricted air when you produce sha ja ha okay at the end you just press give the pressure with, with your tongue the tongue is raised up to the hard palate number 3 the way affricates are produced look here affricates cha and ja two sounds cha and ja involves a complete closure of air flow just like plosives not at the lips but at the alveolar ridge with the help of the tongue and sudden release in the picture you will see that the tongue is touched at the top and the air is stopped there and sudden release cha cha okay next number is nasal nasal sound the way nasal sounds are produced what are these look here ma na ang involve complete stop of air flow in the mouth but important thing is there but the soft palate is lowered the soft palate is lowered which allows the air flow to pass through the nasal cavity not from the oral cavity but nasal as i told you in the previous video soft palate this is the red one if you see here in the picture this red portion if it is lowered it allows air to pass through the nose if it is raised then the air coming from the lungs passes through the mouth so what happened here in this case look here in nasal involves complete stop of the air in the mouth but soft palate is lowered so the air passage is open for nasal cavity that is called nasal sounds so the nasal sounds are produced like this the next one is the way lateral is produced lateral sound there is only one sound lateral sound what is this la la involves full contact of tip of your tongue with the alveolar ridge la your tip of the tongue touches at the alveolar ridge means this area touches there but the tongue is 
tilts one side. You know, we cannot produce la. La. We just slope down our tongue from one side. Either this side or this side, doesn't matter. Generally, we tilt it to right side. La. The tip of the tongue touches at the top and the side of the tongue lowered from one side. So it is called lateral. Like la. La. Okay. La is called a lateral approximant. Look at the picture. In this picture, you will see that this is the tongue and this tip of the tongue is at the top and the other part is lowered. Tilt one side. So the tongue is tilted one side to produce lateral sound. In the picture, you can see. Now the way approximants are produced. In approximant, like ra, ya and wa, the obstruction of the airflow is less than a fricative. There is no stop of airflow. But there was a narrowing or obstruction of the airflow. Similarly, in approximant, we have obstruction but less than the fricatives. So, if you see the picture, you will see that the less obstruction of airflow is here, less than fricatives. So, this is all about the manner of articulation. How many? There are seven groups, as I told you plosives, fricatives, affricate, nasal, then approximant, in approximant. There are lateral, then semi vowel, lateral, semi vowel, and rot, any Scottish raw. Look at this chart. In this chart, you will see that I have put all the sounds together. If you see plosives, these are the manner of articulation, the first line, second line, the, the sounds are voice or voiceless, and next is what are these sounds? See plosives pa, ta, ka. These three sounds are voiceless sounds. VL means voiceless. Pa, ta, ka. Voiceless. Ba, da, ga. Voiced. Fricatives. Fa, tha, sa, za, ha. Voiceless sound. Va, da, za, ja. Voiced sounds. Affricate. Cha, voiceless. Ja, voiced. Nasal. All nasal or voiced. Ma, na, anga. All nasal are voiced. Lateral, only one, one sound, lateral sound la, it is voiced. Similarly, semi vowel, wa and ya, they are also voiced. As I told you, all the vowels are voiced. So they are semi vowels, so they are voiced. This is the chart of complete manner of articulation. In the next video, I will discuss place of articulation. So don't miss that video. Okay? Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye for now.